Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. This is a really, really simple sketch. I did it in Teosui Sketches. It took me no more than 10 minutes and I'm going to show you how I did it right now. So this is a fun sketch we're going to do in Teosui Sketches. Um, just a, really is, it's just a, a watercolour wash and then I'm going to use the eraser to cut into that wash. So I begin by uh, choosing the watercolour brush and I'm, you'll see here, I'm just sort of selecting some colours just to see if they blend together because some of the watercolour brushes modes, the colours will blend and others are like a dry, put in wet on dry and you get this hard edge and I wanted them to merge so I just selected the I think it's the second brush down uh, and I'm going to do this video in real time as well because it's only take, took me like 10 minutes to do it really is a, a very fast thing and basically what I'm doing I'm just putting some colors on the paper uh, using the watercolour tool. I didn't like that blob that I had to go. Sometimes I leave that in, I like it, but for this, it wasn't really what I was looking for. I was just looking for this really diffuse, soft background that's not going to detract from um, the foreground too much at all. So, and you can see the colours, I'm using the option where you can have two colours selected and you can um, choose a, a blend in between the two. I'm not sure, I think that might only be available in the uh, purchase version. I don't think it's in the free version, but don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So I've got these nice cool colors on the top of my uh, piece of paper in Teosui and these warm colors on the bottom. So you imagine the bottom part is some dry grasses and the top part is a distant edge. And uh, once I've got the, this wash on with this nice sort of rough edge all the way around it, I'm going to draw into it with the eraser. You notice as soon as you choose the eraser, Teosui works some magic that sort of uh, puts all these dry edges on the watercolor. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. Uh, what I was doing here, you can see I'm um, sort of drawing a line and then erasing it. And it's because I wanted it to be uh, really smooth. I just the thickness. I want it to flow. I don't want it to look as though my hand's wobbling. And I do have a wobbly hand, I have to say. So I'm sort of here. I'm putting in these stalks for, for these uh types of I don't know what what it is it's like um grasses with with these big flower heads on the top with lots of little seeds or seed heads or pods or whatever you want to call them I'm not sure and uh, I want to get these nice thick lines in and then start drawing thinner lines and I'm using the eraser that actually allows you to um adjust the thickness of the line by the pressure you apply with the stylus. So I'm getting these nice pointed tips. And as you can see, I'm drawing them, then undoing it when I don't like it. There's a, a incoming message bleeping at me there. Sorry about that. So as you can see, I'm very, when you see it in real time, you can see I'm a lot more, um, thoughtful and methodical than I probably look when the video is speeded up and it's going on a race of knots and you can see how careful I am actually putting these lines in and they've got to be right because you remember I can't erase them or anything after because I, uh, I these are lifting out the color on this one layer so I could put this layer on top of something else and those where I'm cutting it out would be like a mask. I could have painted, created a new layer and painted white with one of the other brushes. It would have got the same effect, but I just felt I, I needed to use the eraser for this one. And I, I've got to admit, I tried 
This is the third version I did. I did one with a very fussy background, one with some color washers put over the white, and I didn't like any of those. So in the end, I um, started again, and I thought about the composition a little bit more. Uh, so this is definitely the best and cleanest version. And it's because I did two versions prior to it. And then if I'd have done a thumbnail uh, or a little sketch previous, um, that I would have come up with uh, something similar. Instead of just trying to wade into it, I was kind of making... The actual initial drawing was my thumbnail, really, because I suppose it is a sketchbook, and I'm just sort of trying things out, and um, they didn't work. So I suppose the actual first drawing didn't take much longer than a thumbnail would have done. If I'm making sense at this point, it sounds like I'm waffling a little bit. Anyway, I've now made the brush uh, quite a bit smaller, and I'm putting in these very wispy lines or of these uh, seeds. I'm sure it's like a seed head on this uh, grass type of thing. And I'm trying to think to make some of the lines a little bit longer, some of them shorter, make sure I haven't got the same distance between all of the lines, or this could very quickly look quite mechanical. So I am conscious of that all of the time. So I just continue really um, drawing these little wispy heads. Adding different pressure to get different thicknesses. Very light pressure, I get that really nice thin line, bit heavier pressure. And uh, obviously the colour palette at the bottom, although it looks like I've got a yellow and a black selected, it's not, it's not relevant because I'm using the eraser. I think the difficult thing for me here was to um, get these seed pods to look natural and not symmetrical as though they're all in a nice neat line. Um, I, I made that mistake a few times to begin with and I had to um, rethink it. And, and I think on this one, you'll see as I start to do this, they begin to appear a little bit as though they're following a line. So I start to add uh, one or two more above the initial ones just to vary it up a bit and um, just make it look like it's not symmetrical and it, it looks natural. Also notice I just put some sort of squiggles in and some squiggly lines um, in the middle of some of these just to sort of fill them out a little bit and I really didn't think about those too much they were really just little squiggles it is strange to see me to watch a video back in real time because it really shows how much slower I, I do draw in real time I felt I was, when I was doing it, I was going to race a knot. So when I watch it back, it does look um, quite slow. There's one of the pods that I put in to uh, break up the symmetry a little bit. Because it is sort of, I could have ended up with like lots of umbrellas with more little umbrellas stuck on the top of each sort of stem of the umbrella. And I, I didn't want that. I wanted it to make it look as though the pods were actually a little bit fuller. And notice also at uh, each side of this drawing, the top, the pods disappear 
off the top of the paper on the left hand side the stems come out not the top of the paper sorry the top of the color and then on the left hand side it disappears out of the color again and at the bottom the stems come right out of the color and on the right hand side also the pods um, and stems disappear out of the side of the color so we've got like four sections of color or um, divided by these white lines that was a conscious design uh, by me I, I wanted that to happen I felt it would tie the whole thing together rather than have these um, patterns drawn in the middle of the color I wanted them to come out of it so you know it's just a little sample of a picture and it extends beyond that color into the white space but you just can't see it because it's probably such a bright day the um sunlight is uh, burning everything out rather like a an overexposed photograph let's say i finally decided to put in a few delicate little sea pods seed pods at the uh, bottom of the canvas just to finish that off uh, I, I thought that was a nice touch and then I sign it and I decide to sign it with the eraser inside that colored area and there we go some seed pods for some grasses drawn in Teosui over a watercolor wash I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.